Welcome back everyone and I must say it's good to have you here. Today's build is a very small island farmhouse that isn't very realistic in setting, but it will fit very well in any world. Now I won't keep you waiting, so let's get on with the intro and into the time lapse. Alright, so now that we're back, let's dive in to the building. This was actually a request from Volky in the Discord, who really wanted to see some smaller builds. Builds that are quaint, cozy, and have that homely atmosphere that makes you really want to live there. So I really hope I nailed that aesthetic. Using a mixture of dark sandstone, mud brick, oak platform, and wooden staircases, this simple farmhouse is ideal for those who prefer the quiet life, secluded from major cities and large populations. It could be the home of a farmer an outcast, or even slightly renovated to look like a witch's house. There is a great deal of possibilities when it comes to the frame of this build and how you could customize and create your own version. If you decide to create your own, don't forget to join the Discord and show us what you did. I love seeing builds from the community as it's an inspiration for me to not only continue what I'm doing, but also to see the skill and just plain awesomeness of what you create. And if you enjoy this small build idea, let me know in the comments so I can start making more and throw some ideas down there as well of what you would like to see that fit the idea of a small, more simpler build style. Now the time lapse is fairly short, but we, got, we can't have a video without some music. So without further ado, let's slap on, slap on some relaxing music and I'll see you again for the walkthrough. All right, so here we are taking the little boat, rowing up to the small dock in front of this home. Now, being uh, the theme of an island farm home, uh, I decided to go with a small little dock, dock with some, uh, you know, spears for fishing, um, you know, things like that. Just something that someone would be able to use in shallow waters and able to quickly get fish for a nice dinner or supper. Now, as you can see here, we have a nice little pathway and stairway working its way up with some cobble, and then we have the build itself. Now, to the left, we have the plants and the crops and to the right we have some storage so we're just going to go to the right now um, and I'm going to let you check out this side of the building as you can see here we have some firewood you know some basic necessities some barrels full of food um, we have some coal underneath this covering here and um, all, you know all these small little details uh, that I really wanted to cram in here um, and I think it really came out really awesome like I said this covering was made out of just wooden boards uh, I don't use that often enough but I really liked it and then right here following the Assassin's Creed theme as I've, I've really learned to love we have a small little cellar area now you can see here it has some fish some um, salt it has some jerky you know some herbs just just something small 
uh, to put some extra ingredients and supplies in there when things are either too cold or too hot, just kind of depending. You are by the ocean in this scenario, so things stay fairly, you know, cool. Uh, so let's go over here to the wheat field, and this isn't a lot of wheat, but this would be just a simple family. They wouldn't really need that much on top of the fish that they could store up and season with salt and dry out, pretty much make uh, fish jerky if that's a thing <laughs> but um here you go and a small little supply cart here on the back side and yeah i just like i said i like the way this came out i didn't want to make a large fenced in area i wanted to still make even the yard itself very compact um here we are going inside and so this only has three rooms the dining area slash living area the kitchen and the bedroom and that is it this is a very compact i tried to make it very highly detailed area i didn't put up any paintings or anything like that because i wanted you to be able to kind of take the structure tweak it and build your own if you want to but not necessarily make it identical because you know put your own spin to it put your own design uh, but that was the living area here we have the kitchen itself once again a very small compact kitchen but it works really well we have a little bit of bread bacon over the oven there with a little bit of invisible light blocks to give it that nice ambient feel uh, I just like I said I love the way it came out we have the wood supports going across the roofing um, and, and to help support it. I just think that was a nice little touch. And here we have the bedroom, two small beds, a dresser, and a nice little window out to watch the uh, wheat grow if you really are that bored. Um, but yeah, that's the bedroom, and I really think it came out really cool. I tried to change the flooring. Instead of just having one singular um, block palette for the floor, I decided to take more wooden uh, boards and kind of mix them around with, a, with a, you know, the pelt of an animal and stuff like that, and just really came through well. I don't typically mix up my floors, but for this build, I wanted to cram in a lot of detail, so I said, why not? Let's go all out <laughs> and, and even, you know, change the floors around. So anyways, let's do the, um, the fly around, and you can see here that once again, it's a very small area. It's very condensed. I don't think I could build much smaller than this. I think this is pretty much it. <laughs> but once again, if you really like these small builds, let me know. Have Throw some ideas in the comments. Let's get this going. Um, also, just quick update. We are 1,200 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. Um, let's just keep on. Share this video as much as you can. And let's get this channel noticed um, by everyone who hasn't seen it already. So anyways, this is The Legendary Report signing off. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good day, and happy gaming.